VDQ tutorial for beginners how to use VDQ for your YouTube channel. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can you use this service to grow your YouTube channel. Basically it's pretty easy and this service is quite helpful. So let's get started. Firstly of course we need to open their website called vidiq.com. You'll go to this page and let's start from the pricing. Basically as you can see, we have a basic plan, which is totally free. And also there are three paid plans, Pro, Boost and Max. Here we can find differences between them. Uh, as you can see, the free plan is really, really good. It has like three daily ideas for our videos. Pro has 10, 50 from Boost and 50 from Max. Also, we have like competition tracking, trans alerts, support, academy in free version and the paid plans are of course a little bit more boosted but basically honestly for start the free plan is good enough but if you are like a pro on youtube you can of course start from like pro version boost or even max as you can see boost is recommended so also we have like basic video analytics on free plan and on pro there is like much much more things keyword research tool best time of day dedicated SEO analysis and channel wide tags. It depends on paid plans, but um, honestly, everything is good basically. So um, another thing I wanted to show you is that they have their own extension for Google Chrome. I will show you also the interface and it helps a lot and I use it much more than like this website. So we can just find any single metric of any video on YouTube it looks like this. I will show you on YouTube a little bit later. So we can find the number of views per hour, total views, duration, the social metrics. And as for me, it's really, really good. So to sign up from this website, just click on the, this button, free sign up. So I'll just click and we can sign up with Google. I will just use uh, my account here. And now we are on the main interface here. I'll translate it to English. And uh, of course, of course, um, there are a lot of good stuff here. So we can find our channel stats, views, subscribers, watch time, retention, estimate revenue. Basically, you can find them in YouTube analytics, but you can also find them right up here. What is really interesting is our daily ideas. So every day uh, this uh, service provides us free ideas. If we are have like free plan here, uh, depends on our channel team. So as you can see, it's advised me to create how to remove call history from iPhone step by step guide and also like to other teams. We can just click on OP da open daily ideas. Here we can find like saved ideas or dismissed ideas. If we want to save it for the future, we can just click on this heart icon to save the idea. So in the future, we can return to this page and then just find everything like here. So if we'll go back, um, we can find another uh, dashboard things like keyword opportunities and AI title recommendations. So here, if you want to, uh, for example, uh, find the ideal title for your video, you can add keywords that you want to base your titles on. For example, let's try to input like the IQ tutorial. So get title ideas. And as you can see now, it will generate like a VDQ tutorials, unlock a secret of YouTube with this VDQ tutorial and so on. Uh, basically, I don't use this feature, but if you are interested, you can of course do this. Keyword opportunities here are also a really helpful feature. So here we can just try to search for different keywords like tags. So we can write, so like for example, VDIQ here. And then just click on search. And as you can see, we have like related keywords in the right side and in the left side, like the overview, the search volume, it's really high. And the competition here and uh, overall score is really high 71. If it's higher than like 50, it's pretty good. So we can just use it, uh, of course. Uh, some other tags like questions, how to use VDQ, how to use VDQ for your YouTube videos and so on. 
and matching temps like VDQ Pro 3, VDQ Boost, Tube Body versus VDQ and so on. This is really helpful and I use it a lot basically. So we can switch between all these things and just try it. But in overview we have like all of them. Yeah. Uh, so if you'll go to upgrade here, we can see that we can pay monthly or annual. So if you are paying for all the year, the price is much, much less. Like for Pro, it's less for $2.5, for example, for every single month. Also, we have a lot of different things here. But let's jump to YouTube to uh, show very helpful extension. So uh, basically, uh, if we are want to find the extension here, we need to use the Google Chrome, of course. And uh, if we'll go to, uh, I will just go to main page here for VideoQ. Uh, if you want to get the extension, you need to click on extension here and then just click on install Chrome extension. And after that, here on this page, we need to download it. As you can see, I have it already. So I have only the option to remove from Chrome. So let's jump uh, to YouTube. And as you can see, it's really helpful if you're trying to search for something in the search bar, we can see the like uh, metrics for these search, um, for these search words. For example, the volume is like 98, it's pretty high. Competition is pretty high here and the overall score is 49 as you can see it's less than like 71 like it was in the previews uh, for example. We can also find top channels for this search item here like Mr. Beast, Gravity, Beast Reactions and uh, top related opportunities Mr. Beast Minecraft, Meeting Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast for God to end his recording and so on. Uh, and of course, like related queries, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast Gaming, MR, Mr. Beast Espanol, and so on. But what is also interesting that if you are trying to search for some video, we also have a metric of the number of views per hour. For example, this video um, reached like 80k views per hour, which is pretty high. And also to make it easier to find the number of subscribers, as you can see here. So if you'll open this video, for example, uh, in the right side, there, like also there is like uh, recommendations here, but uh, with this extension, we can find the metrics from VDQ, like VDQ score is pretty high here, views per hour, total views, duration, the social metric, and like the graph or the of, of the views here. So as you can see, it, it goes pretty high, pretty strong. Uh, and what is more interesting as for us is we, that we can find video tags. This video doesn't have any tags, but uh, if you will try to find for another video, so we can find the video tags here. Uh, also topics, video game culture and channel tags. Basically, as, as I know, there is no option to find channel tags without this extension. Maybe with another, but with this one, it, it's right up here. So Mr. Beast, Beast, Mr. Beast, Beast, Beast and so on. So basically, these are the most helpful features as for me uh, to like uh, try to find the metrics of another videos from another channels. Also, I wanted to show if we are trying to like go to a search bar and we have like text here, we can click on these three dots and click on open in K inspector. And here we can input any single uh, tag to like try to compare it. For example, let's try to input like Minecraft. And as you can see, we have like a related score, search volume here and competition and overall score. So we can find the search volume and competition. For example, if videos has like search volume, high search volume, we can create video about this term to like get more views. Maybe we also have like uh, some other uh, features here, but all of them will lead us to like uh, the website I showed you in the start of the video. So basically this is the ways how we can use uh, VidIQ for our YouTube. Hope this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. I will help 
every one of you. So basically that's all for this video.